So what we need to do, we're going to spray the 2020 really wet, not not super wet, damp. Ew! It's all sticky. It's very yeah, sticky. sticky. What what I do what myself? You wouldn't want to. What 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 I do myself? I stick it like this. I hold it up like that. I just stick it in a bucket of water. I stick it in. I take it out. I give it a shake, and then. I handle it with two fingers, mm -hmm. I, and then very quickly it softens up. My uh, fear with people who start is always when they do that, they squeeze all the stiffening out of it, oh, yes. and then it becomes too um, loose. loose when it dries. So if you spray, that's not the danger because you're not, not getting really tempted to wash it, it because that's not what you want. And then I lay the, the pieces over, <coughs> and I, I do the habitual thing of crisscrossing everything. Um, habitual. Habitual, yeah. Okay. Crisscrossing everything in millinery. And then we need no, the blocking pins, now. which I take out onto the, onto the right. table, because I hurt when I take them from the box. And you need an apron, because you, this is your your third hand. I keep oh, saying yeah. that when we block. If you don't have an apron, you are protecting yourself because you will get wet and dirty. And then you only work here and then your your body suffers because you, with your hand and the, the shoulders, everything. Yeah. So I am working against my stomach and then, as you can see, it has softened up and it starts becoming pliable. So I'm putting in a couple of pins front and then I turn the block round, I stretch again, pull it down in the, on the underside. Some people call it east, north, south, west. I say front uh, or whatever. Never eat soggy and, and then the other side, pull it down. See how this stretches? And then I start filling in the corners. And the aim is that it is very smooth, no pleats, none of this sort of overlapping. You don't want that. You want to pull this away and try to work with your two fingers, so like that, that you don't get so sticky. Because this is something people dislike about 2020, they feel it's messy and it gets sticky, but this is because re people often stroke the yeah, fabric. No, and then your, your whole hand is sticky, and there's no need to do that. So, then f when it dries out, like being here in Queensland in places where it's warm, it often dries out, spray it again. If it's um, too sturdy and doesn't want to bend, all it is, it's not soft enough. So, pin that under. Here I'm a little bit short with my fabric. I get away with it, but it is a bit short. But we make it work. And then, by here, by the time I'm here, that's also a little bit dry. And make sure that the under layer is not in a pleat and you go over it mm -hmm. so that that is also smooth underneath oh, it looks so easy. Oh, pin okay. that in it is rather easy oh, if you know yeah, it I struggle with those blocking pins yeah. it is yeah. easy if you I follow don't anymore. No, practice, I don't practice, practice 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 I don't I did but I don't but as you can see with those blocking pins you are so in control Mm. You know, you really, yeah. you you get under. Actually, I've never in control. Huh? There is no no rusting of what often the the drawing pins do. Mm. They rust your fabric. You can't get in between. And and very quickly, you're all the way around. See, and then it's gorgeously mm. smooth. And what I want underneath, when I then look, sometimes. I need this to be completely smooth, sort of like a, the width of a little finger, mm -hmm. because that might become my head fitting. In this case, this block, we don't need that, mm -hmm. because we're going to cut off right on the edge. So I'm more concerned that that be amazing, beautiful. Mm. But it's if, lovely shape. Lovely if shape. it were a block where this is the head fitting, then I, I would now 
but when I was blocking already, made sure that I just have this centimeter here smooth. Mm -hmm. And see how I can just smoothen it like that? Mm -hmm. And if you can't do it with your finger, sometimes you can take a knife, a butter knife, and stroke that over, and then that's perfectly smooth, and the rest gets cut off. And then you just leave it to dry. And uh, the, the, 